Hello again everyone, it is Vince Shooter here for Shooter Multimedia coming to you today from my backyard because really how many options do I have? Normally this weekend I would be in Jessup, Pennsylvania for the, the race of the Saints, St. Ubaldo Day, Festa de Sherry, the whole nine yards and the, the Jessup Hose Company Carnival and all kinds of wonderful stuff all of which has been cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And some part of me just want to make a video just marking the fact that that's why there's not a St. Ubaldo video this year. It's because there wasn't one. And there's a lot of other things that are not going to happen as well. I don't want to speak for any events and say, oh yeah, this is closed when, you know, I'm not part of the organization. Maybe they'll open it up. Maybe things will change suddenly. And then everyone will say, well, Vince told us that, you know, that you weren't having it so we didn't go. I don't want to I don't want to be involved in making any statements for anyone on some kind of because this is always going to come off as some kind of semi-official sort of word. I would hope that you trust what I tell you and I don't want to tell you something that may change or that I'm not directly involved with or I can say definitively this is what's going on but yeah if you don't see an event on the on the channel this year that you normally watch probably didn't happen. It's very much a unique time in history, and I'm not sure, like, I don't know, is it the virus that is unique, that we haven't seen anything like this, or is it the response that is unique, is it a combination of the two? If, you, if you're watching Facebook, you get the impression that there's two camps. Uh, one camp of people in the, the community believes that if we go off of lockdown, if we start having events again, if we start living normally again, if we allow non-essential businesses to open, then there will be a massive spike of sickness and death. The other camp believes that if we don't open things back up, you will have even more deaths because of suicides and people who are not taking care of regular health care problems. You know, you're not going to the hospital to get, you know, normal checkups and then you'll have people having heart attacks or you know all kinds of other stuff that will be going on because they're not getting normal health care and lots of lives will just be ruined businesses will be destroyed i mean you're, you're talking this will absolutely annihilate the economy in the long run if we don't open up at some point that's the other camp which camp is correct it's probably a mix somewhere in there it, it could be that they're both absolutely correct which would be bad that would be a bad thing, because then it's a no-win situation. There's literally no way out at that point. I don't believe in the no-win scenario. I'm much like Captain Kirk. No, I, I don't believe in the no-win scenario. So it's probably somewhere in between, and I think probably it's going to self-regulate itself a little bit. As things open up, the people who are still convinced that it's dangerous will do more social distancing. They'll stay home more, and that will slow the spike, if there is a spike, uh, from the people who do go back out. So I, I think, you know, there is going to be some self-regulation that goes along with this, and that's at least, you know, one possibility. That having been said, I'm an engineer, not a doctor. Just to flip the Star Trek thing around one more time. I am streaming the masses for my church, so if you go to the Parishes of Holy Cross and Blessed Sacrament on Facebook, you can get to see the Mass, and that's a, something that I feel extremely blessed to do. It's, it's a gift. Uh, I, I'm one of the few people who actually gets to be in the church. I get to participate in the Mass. And that's something I never imagined I'd be able to do. So this is, a, it's a, in times like this, that's an extreme gift. And, you know, Monsignor, you can stop thanking me for doing that. This is a present to me. It is an absolute wonderful thing. It's a gift. And I'm extremely happy that, that I have the, uh, the, uh, the ability to do that. And I'll put the link in the description for that so you can find that if you're so inclined. And I do plan on keeping videos coming to this channel if I can come up with a concept, uh, an executable concept that fits the format of Shoot a Multimedia, uh, then I will be doing that. This is my most structured channel. Uh, the video game channel, the only real structure I have there is that it's got to be a video game and the link will be in the description to that below. And my personal channel, my Vincent Shooter channel, that's whatever I could come up with. So there are videos going up there, you know. I do have another Oreo video planned, so if you guys are one of the fans of the Oreo series, it's probably not going to be wild as the last two, but, you know, it's going to be there. There's, there's something coming up. I'm also going to look for anything that might be interesting 
in my library of older clips and even some stuff from just from last year that I haven't had a chance to process. And if I can go through some of my really old stuff, some of the old VHS and Hi8 tapes and stuff like that and upload some of that probably to my Vince Shooter channel. I don't know if any of that would fit the Shooter multimedia template. But uh, yeah, so we're going to try and keep interesting things coming up here. Now, because of COPPA, the whole COPPA Act thing, well, yeah, I'm not, my, my videos are no longer showing up in people's feeds. Like, if you can only get that, oh, you've got something from, you know, shoot a multimedia, has put a video up, it's not going up there anymore because I've got it so that we're not collecting people's data and, or data, as you prefer. And therefore, uh, yeah, more and more of those YouTube restrictions are, are kicking in. Hopefully I still stay in the search engine so people can still find the stuff. But make sure you're subscribed to all three channels and then check it out every so often just in case YouTube isn't telling you when I make a video. I am confident that God is going to bring us through this difficult point in history. And one thing we cannot do is get too wrapped up in the despair and the doom that circulates through social media and on the news and everyone trying to create more and more fear. We have survived world wars, we have survived cold wars, we have survived depressions and recessions. We can get through this. Just use common sense and keep the faith, my friends. And on that note, this is Vince Shooter for Shooter Multimedia. Have a great day, everybody.